Lua is a Brazilian scripting language designed to be small, fast, and portable. Its interpreter is built to have a small footprint, which means it can run on any device with a standard C compiler. The language also has mechanisms that allow you to extend it with libraries from other languages, and vice versa. Because it's so small, you can actually embed it inside projects that are based on other languages, such as like C Sharp or Ruby, but you can still end up using Lua in those projects without it being too bloated. All of that comes in the fact that the Lua interpreter is very small. According to the Lua website, the tarball for the 5.3 interpreter uncompressed is only about like 1.2 megabytes. The syntax of the language itself is a bit more like Ruby than anything else. So what's Lua used for? Lua is probably most known for making games with the Love 2D game engine, or it's really just known for making games in general. A lot of AAA game titles have been made in Lua, including Roblox, Warcraft, Angry Birds, and Civilization. Lua's small VM also lends itself really well to embedded applications. And there's a lot of support for this with projects such as eLua. As I said before, Lua prides itself on portability, which means any system with a standard C compiler can run it. This means that Lua can run on Windows, Mac, Linux, all sorts of mobile platforms, and even like IBM frameworks. This also means that Lua can be used for mobile games, and there are a few platforms stuff like this, such as the Corona Engine and Love2D can even be used on mobile. Just to give you a little bit more of an idea of how the language works, I'm going to go ahead, go into computer mode right now, and then run through a simple little Lua program, just to get you familiar with the syntax and how Lua likes to structure all its data. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and create a Lua script today, and I'm going to show you guys how to iterate through a proper array and a proper hash. And it's a little weird doing this in Lua compared to other languages because they don't have a dedicated array or hash, really. They have what's called a table, and they kind of just use that either as an array, is what I'm doing here, or a hash, which I'll show you after this. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this for loop for i equals 1 because it is a one index language all the way up to length of list is what the hashtag means and for so basically for every item in list I'm going to go ahead and print out that item right there right so you when I run the program you should see 9 12 7 4 65 and now I'm going to use a table to create a hash it works really similar to the way JavaScript does it's just the way Lua kind of brands it. Uh, seems to be a little odd to me. So I'm going to put in my name, my age, and a misspelled version of the word YouTuber. And I'm going to do for KV inside hash. KV, that does kind of remind me of Prox and Ruby. So you can sort of think of it like that if you know Ruby. Uh, we're going to go ahead and print out K and then colon V. It's sort of in PHP how you have to do like the dot to get any strings. We're gonna do two dots. I actually ran this once without pairs and I messed it up, but now as you can see, it worked correctly. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and you can also watch other videos on my channel that should be popping up around the screen here. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.